Hi, this is Steve Delich and Stuff Music. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something a little different than what we do in our normal videos. Um, I have recently had a pedal board built by Dave Lewis over at End Stuff Music. Um, and I want to just explain a couple of the ways I've been using it and utilizing it with my um, live rig. Uh, I was getting tired of tap dancing around with, with different pedals and different uh, types of gigs taking things on and off. So I um, got a Line 6 Helix uh, HX FX unit, which sort of covers everything that I needed to do. Um, a couple of the main things, it got rid of the tuner on the board. Um, I can switch, anal, uh, switch channels on the amp. Um, it does everything from there, and it's very easy to use. Uh, so, and I'm using a volume pedal in line, and you can run things in front and in back. So, um, instead of talking about all the stuff that it can do, I'm just going to show you how I use it. And then Dave's going to come in a little bit later and we're going to talk about um, some of the more technical aspects of what he did with, with the pedal board. Um, so, like I said, I play a wide variety of styles and gigs. Um, I mainly need like three, three or four types of sounds. So, uh, I'll just show you how I have this set up. I'm using a Mesa uh, Lone Star, the 100 watt, watt amp, and a uh, Sarah Classic Pro. Um, so I'll start with my, my basic clean sound. Here's just with some reverb on, on the amp. So if I want like a nice, clean, warm jazz sound, um, I'll sometimes use the boost and turn the tone down here on, on the guitar and the volume. And then I got the volume pedal so you don't get yelled at by the other band members. That's with the boost on it. What that does is helps you um, cut, a, cut a up above the band if you're using that type of sound. So if I want to uh, brighten that up a little bit, I'll just turn the tone up, maybe uh, turn the boost off a little bit. So if I'm getting more of a funky type of sound, I want it brighter on that. And again, I got the volume pedal, I'm using that a lot. So that's the reverb from the Helix uh, HX. 
and I'm not using the reverb on this. And a lot of times, I love I love the reverb on, on the Lone Star, but why I wouldn't use it is if I'm playing on a stage and you have a heavy-handed drummer or something, um, the reverb tank just shakes all over the place. So it's, it's just for convenience factor. Plus, I love the sounds in this thing. So um, after that, I mean, that's my two basic sounds. I mean, you can add all the effects. Some delay on there. Um, there's a million videos with people showing you all the different effects. We all know it sounds great. Uh, check them out if you don't. Um, like I said, I, I just need all these things in one, you know, simple package here. Uh, so again, there's like with some delay to clean sound using an expression pedal to bring in more delay. Uh, now let's look over the next, next sound I might use here, uh, the crunch sound. So I'll go over here, and what I have a little bit of delay on here. So when I switch these, there's presets in here that you can switch, or snapshots you can save. So I'd go, I'll, I'll get to that in one, one minute, but I'll show you the, the, um, the crunch sound on here that I'm using. And that's the sound of the amp, uh, switching the amp channel, and I set it up on the Helix, and um, that's the overdrive on, on the amp right there. And I'm, again, I'm using the volume pedal, I got a little bit of delay on it and I can bring in more delay if I want from the expression pedal. Or back it off, or turn it off. So that would be the second type of sound I might use on there. Um, going back to my clean channel, I have a Sir Riot pedal that I use for like the Van Halen type of stuff, the big heavy rock stuff. Um, so I can, you can put that actually into the loop on here. Um, and what it does is you can, you can put the effects on it. When I switch here, it'll just keep the pedal on um, and I can set it up with delay if I want or whatever on it. So when I just step on one switch, so I'm not tap dancing. Uh, like I mentioned before, you can set up um, snapshots on here. So what that is, I'll have one preset, and you can do a bunch of different um, types of sounds with it. You can step on delays, um, change the switching of the amp channels, and it's still in the same preset. Uh, so what, what I did here, these are my three basic sounds. Again, here's my uh, warm clean. <laughs> Then I can switch to the crunch sound. There's a little delay on that. And then if I go to the riot, which I have in the loop, so it's, you know, I just step on one button, I don't have to be tap dancing again, and get this. to the clean. All right, we're back with uh, Dave Lewis, who uh, built this wonderful pedal board. We're going to talk about uh, some of the things we did. Um, when I came to Dave, I asked him for something uh, small, small footprint. I didn't want to be, um, you know, have a bunch of cables everywhere and a lot of pedals everywhere. A lot of places I play are pretty small and tight, you know. So um, we Steve came up does with have this. a problem with his, <laughs> his pedal board getting stomped on a lot by other people other than him. So. Mainly cables. People just <laughs> do not care. I've made a lot of cables for Steve. <laughs> okay. But I never broke any of these. Megami cables. All right. So I'll let Dave talk a little bit, bit about what we did. Well, anytime I build a, a board for anybody, uh, I absolutely try to customize it to their need. Um, 
even to the point of what pedals they use the most so that they're the, the easiest pedals to step on. Uh, so that's always something that, that's in the back of my head. Try and keep it neat. I'm, I'm a fanatic when it comes to cable management. Um, I like to use wire ties. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just so it's, it's, it's clean, it's easy. You get to the gig, you put the pedal down, you just plug it in and it's ready to go. Uh, no muss, no fuss. Kind of like the way I like to do it. So, you know, when Steve wanted to, to put this together, uh, you know, I, I asked questions. Okay, so what, what kind of tones are you going to get with this pedal? Um, you know, how are you going to change pedals a lot? Are you going to keep these same pedals on this board? Do I have to worry about you ripping things on and off? Because uh, that's all part of it. Um, I like using, especially with, with the newer technology of where you can assign what pedals, you know, this pedal here can have multiple functions in this unit. So it can be a volume, it can be uh, a wah-wah, it can be whatever. Um, that's actually more of this one. But, uh, you know, the expression pedals are so flexible now that they can do 15 things at once if you want them to. So that's the beauty uh, of this design. Uh, the, the Helix unit has really blown me away. It's... It's very intuitive, very easy to get around. Uh, the architecture is just pretty much brainless. Sounds amazing. And, it, 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 you know, with this pedal board, he can pretty much get any sounds he needs. You know, with the ride pedal, he can get the, the higher gain stuff. Um, the Helix does have some amazing overdrives built in, inside of it, along with, again, any effect you would ever want. Uh, one of the other things I always like to find out is if they want to use the, you know, the, the two cable method or the four cable method to, to hook this up. Uh, Steve is using it in his effects loop as well. So we are wired for the four cable method. Um, another thing uh, is power. Uh, I always recommend some sort of isolated power instead of daisy chaining things together because it does make a huge difference in your, your noise floor. Um, and they're just so convenient to have. Uh, even with this one, um, Steve will use a wah sometimes, so I put him a little convenience jack in so that he doesn't have to worry about running batteries or getting external power for that wah. But um, we saw all kinds of uh, power supplies from True Tone, Strymon, um, Voodoo Labs, um, Boss, or uh, no, I'm sorry, not Boss, MXR. Um, so they're so nice to have, such a convenience, all, you can keep the cabling all nice and neat, uh, doesn't have to go anywhere, you know, so your, your pedal board is pretty much a one-stop shop for Keep for that everything. around for a minute. Uh, another yes, thing, too, Dave was talking about the four, uh, cable method. Um, sometimes I'll go and play gigs where they have backline and it's a single channel amp, and I really like the fact that I could just take a patch cable and go in from the send and return, just put it in there, and then just plug directly into a single channel amp. So I don't have to change everything, change all my settings or anything. So it's very con convenient for that too. Yeah, with this configuration, he can just jump a, a patch from the send and return, and bam, he can run everything on the front of the amp. It, it's that simple. He doesn't have to change anything. Doesn't change his gain structure. Uh, pretty pretty straightforward. And then the other cool thing is now everybody is just making everything smaller these days. Um, these Dunlop mini volume pedals um, are just amazing. The throw is really good. Uh, so again, this one can be assigned to be whatever. You can have it extend your delay time or uh, your, your repeats on your delay or the speed of your chorus or a tremolo or use the internal wah settings in here which rival a lot of the, the standalone WAs that I've heard, you know, from companies like Dunlop and, and Full Tone and Exotic. I mean, they're, they're amazing, but these sound great, feel great, too, as well. I love the Exotic one, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it is nice. Yeah, it's, all took forever. it's all personal preference, man. It took forever to find one that, yeah. you know, just sounds the, great. That well, one there's is, always yeah. trade-offs. Yeah. You, know, you know, there always is. It's, it's not going to be amazingly you know perfect but it's 
it sounds really good. It's super passable. Nobody in the audience is going to question what why you're using. <laughs> you know, that, that's the thing. By the time it gets through the PA to the audience. Um, well, speaking of the wah, Steve, can you explain why you don't have the wah on your board at all times? Yes, yes. Um, we thought about that, and, and it would fit, you know. But, but um, I sort of like it, like when I'm standing up, and, and just the feel of it, you know. Just um, I don't like it being on the board. It, actually, it, I know it sounds weird and crazy, but I'm so anal about that stuff, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. you know. So yeah, I need, again, I, you know, it's personal preference. Though. Yeah, but plus I'm not using it all the time, you know. I only use it for a few gigs here and there, you know. Same, same with the other stuff in there. Um, if you see how I ran it during, during the video when I was playing, it was mainly, um, you know, de delay, reverbs. I don't use, like, you know, flangers, and, mm -hmm. but they're there if I need them, yeah. you know. And, so. and again, you know, with the Velcro and everything, it's easy to change things around if you need to. Uh, it, it just makes it so much more flexible. If you, if you are one of those guys that you want to try a different pedal at every gig, you can do it. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know anybody that's like that. Or every day. <laughs> I have an addiction to overdrive pedals. So. By the time this board gets to his car after this video, it'll be, you have yeah. a different overdrive on it. So. We're going to do a video on Steve's addiction to pedals, too. <laughs> this, is, this is version two, by the way. <laughs> do you have a pedal addiction? Call 1 800 Pedal Addiction. So, so uh, how, do, how, do, uh, how do people get a hold of us? To, uh, to get a custom pedal board. Chris, I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> uh, we're located in Pittsburgh, PA. Um, we're in a town called Blonox. Our phone number is 412-828-1003, or you can reach us by email at sales at nstuffmusic.com. Or I'm usually the guy manning chat. So if you're on uh, our website and you see the little chat icon pop up, I'm usually the guy that will be on the other end talking to you. So. Um, Please don't send any inappropriate pictures. It's still, it's still the internet. <laughs> I don't know what you speak of. <laughs> so, but, you know, thanks for stopping by and watching the video. And I'm pretty much at the store most of the time that we're open. When the lights are on, I'm there. Um, I'll, I, 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 I have a passion for this, so I'm more than welcome to more than willing to help you out if you're if you have questions you're stuck with something especially when it comes to power and that kind of thing because I've gotten pretty good at getting rid of noise <laughs> that that happens in pedal boards and uh, you know I always like working with Steve because he always throws a challenge my way too <laughs> at least a couple times a week <laughs> keep you on your toes man yes exactly.